So we have the afterburner. The afterburner is fast and furious, it's intense. You need a set of dumbbells. You need something to put under your heels to elevate your heels slightly. Okay, you also need a kettlebell if possible. Now, if you've got neither of those or any of those, then get some bottles of water, get a rucksack, fill it with books, get something. You know, on a Saturday morning, we go fast and we go furious, guys, all right? So, as soon as you've got all that, come up to the screen, give me a triple thumbs up if you can, even though you've only got two thumbs. Yep, everyone's good? Cool. All right, so, warm-up time. We're doing a quick dynamic warm-up, guys, so whenever you're ready, what I want you to do is take your feet nice and wide, and we'll start with some shoulder rolls. And back. And then let the arms go across the front of the body, crisscross. And then we're going to take rotation side to side. Now, big hip circles. From here, bring your feet together, bring your knees together, hands on top of the knees, knee circles, warm those knees up, warm those ankles up. And the other way. Cool. Now we're going to go on the back on the floor, everyone. So drop to your back, take your legs wide, and those knees, they're going to go side to side. This is called knee drops. This opens up the hips, opens up the spine, releases all the tension. Cool. Now two straight legs, we have hamstring swings, so one heel comes up above the body, keep the legs straight if you can, and then switch to the other side. Now from here we're going to roll over onto the front, we have a Mackenzie push up. So you take your hands wide, your hips stay down, we breathe in as you lift your chest up. So it just opens up the chest. One more, then Charles Paul, sit your bum back. Arms up nice and straight. Now, put your hands behind your ear. We've got upper body rotations. We're trying to open up your thoracics, which is the upper back. Do a couple here, and we do the same on the other side. And then from here, we have an alternating lunge. Step. So a big lunge in front, okay? And then what I want you to do is to twist to the inside knee, then bring the hand back down, and we're gonna to twist to the other side inside knee. We'll do this again on each side. So it's quite quick. Opening up the hips. Other side. Nice. Now we're going to transition into downward dog. So hands to the floor. Tuck your toes under. Stick your bum in the air. Let your heels drop. And then when you're ready, we'll walk into a forward bend. Get the toes if you can. Push those knees back. And then slowly up we come. And we are good to go. Come on in the lane, welcome. Okay, so, exercise number one, squats. So if you've got those things I asked you to get to put under your heels, you're gonna put your heels on top now. Start with body weight, coming down nice and slowly. So the idea of putting something under your heels is that this takes out the restriction of your ankles, which 99.9% .9 of you all have, and allows us to get a deeper range. One more. Now grab your two dumbbells. On top of the shoulders, one arm goes up, followed by the other. That's it. Okay, you do a little twist at the top. Remember, one arm goes first, then the other arm goes, yeah? So if you've got a band laying there, just bring your hands back a bit wider. That's it, yeah? Now you might find that two bottles of water might be better for this. If you can go and grab two two litre bottles of water, that might be a bit better for you. Okay, kettlebell swings. We take our legs nice and wide. Take a lean forward. Now what I'm trying to do is keep my back straight, grab the kettlebell, and I'm trusted. Now if you've got a bad back, you can do a hip bridge. So you would line your back on the floor and just lift your hips up and down. Okay? That's an alternative for the kettlebell. Then we have lower ab curls. Now what's going to happen is all of you are going to go off screen now because you're going to go on the floor. That's cool. But all I ask is that you watch me first. This is a low ab curl. So you go on your back on the floor. You bring your knees over the hips. Hands to the side. 
You push your knees over the head. You come down slowly. Okay, that's your ab curl. So give it a shot, guys. Elaine, you okay with that one, yeah? You're doing it, yeah? Everyone's doing that? Everyone's doing that ab curl for me? Remember, guys, your warm-up is doing the exercises with me, not just looking at me. Although I know I look good. I know I look good. But you guys are going to be doing this with me, yeah? All right? Okay, burpees. We're going to go two levels. No impact. It's hands to the floor, step back. That's no impact. Then full impact, all the way down, and you jump. Okay, show me. So guys, you don't need to angle your cameras down, because there's only one exercise where you're on the floor. All right, so if you can all keep them up, that's great, because I'll get the majority of the workout, I can see you, yeah? That's it. Right, I think we're all in, we're all good to go, and we're all warmed up and ready, yeah? Right, can we drink a water now? We're working for 30 seconds. We have 30 seconds recovery in between each round. Squats. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go. Control the lower. Now lift. Control. Remember, if you have dumbbells, grab them, guys. Okay. Or you can get two shopping bags. Fill it with cans. Get two rucksacks. Fill it with books. Grab something. Get two bottles of water. Get something, guys. Anything. Next round on the rest. I want you to run to your kitchen. Go and find something if you've got no weight, yeah? Cool. 30 seconds rest. Then we have our alternating shoulder press. All right? Okay, if you have no weights, go and grab something. Go and get two cans from your cupboard. Go and get two bottles of water, guys. Get something, get two books. Anything you can get hold of, yeah? All right, here we go. Okay, dumbbells up, one leg in front. Okay, one arm up first. Touch your ear, come down with control. And then we swap. That's it. Now, tummy in tight. Slow and controlled. If you can, bring the arm a bit wider at the bottom. Nice and wide. One more, one more. Cool. We now have 30 seconds. We transition to a kettlebell swing. So again, if you have a back injury, you don't have a kettlebell, okay, and you can't find a rucksack, fill it with books because it's you've no books so you've no rucksack okay you can line your back on the floor and do a hip lift all right eight seven six five four legs wide lean forward ready steady and go up one two three let's see how many we get here four five slight knee bend not too much six seven eight nine squeeze your ass 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Can we get one more? 20. Oh, oh. Ah, we've set the standard now. 20 kettlebell swings every round now. That is the mission. Low ab curls. So go onto your back on the floor. Push your hands into the ground. You bring your knees up over the hips. Keep them bent for now. Now your knees go over the head. Don't crush your neck though. Okay, slow and control. So that's one rep done. It's slow, it's controlled. You're not swinging your legs backwards and forwards. Take your time. That's it. Now, be careful, guys. Some of you are kind of swinging your knees and letting the legs go all over the place. Have a bit of control. 
slow and steady. One more. Done. So as we always coach you, it's about the slow lower. If you're just swinging your legs backwards and forwards, all you're doing is swinging your legs backwards and forwards. You're not contracting your abs. You're not going to get the muscle tone in the lower part of your body. So it's really important to slow down that lower. Burpees. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Drop. Up. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Go all in. Go all in this morning, yeah? Dig deep here. Dig deep. Give me two more. Everyone, give me one more. One more, one more. Yes. One round. Now, you lucky people. I've added in a bit more rest this morning. So, we're going to get a bit of water in now with a bit of recovery. Deep breaths in and out. But giving you more rest is not an excuse to back off from the intensity. The mission now is to go all in on each set and each round so you get the result that you desire because you put the work into every single set, every single round. Squats round two, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Slow it down and lift. That's one rep done. Slowly, squeeze. That's two done. So if you've done more than two reps, then I don't know what program you're following, guys. Come on, slow it down with me. Stay with me. Control. Slow and steady. Can you go deeper? Can you squeeze your thighs more? I want one more, ready? One more, go. One more. Yes, done. Deep breath in. Shoulders is next. Now if you have some decent weights for your squats, and you have the ability, you can use the same weights for your shoulders. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Up and control. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Go wide. Seven, remember, pull the elbows back. Eight, pull them right back so the dumbbells do not go forward. Nine, ten, two more. Eleven, give me one more, one more, get eleven, ready? There's number twelve. Done, cool. So we are setting ourselves up for success by using the reps that we maintain in every set. And we look at the drop off. What is the drop off every round? Do you drop reps each time? Do you fatigue a little bit quicker? Okay, you ready? Kettlebell, go wide with the feet. Remember, I want a nice solid spine. 20 reps, go, up. Squeeze your ass, squeeze your abs. Tight and tone, that's the mission here. Yeah? Halfway, 10 done. Five, four, three, two, one more, one more, one more. Yeah, see, there's your 20. Done. Now, if you wish to go to the next level with your low ab curls, you can get your legs straight, okay? Try it. If it's too much, go back to your knees bent. If that's too much, then just go to an isometric hold where you just hold the legs in the air. Ready? Hands at the side. Legs up, 
and we go backwards. Go. But control the lower though. So we come back to an L shape. My legs do not go any lower than vertical over the hips. Push your arms into the floor to get the lift. Then you control it. Control that lower. Take your time. Digging deep. Can you give me one more? Yes. Nice. On your feet. Good piece. So we've got 10 in the last round. Your mission now is to see can you maintain 10. Can you get 10 still? If you only got eight in the last round, then you're only gonna get eight here. That's right, unless you held back slightly. Unless you started to feel I need to be a bit kind to myself, Greg. I need to ease off slightly. Three, two, one, go. Hop. One. Two. Three. Four. Come on. Five. Make sure you go all the way down low to touch the floor. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. Yes, we did it. Ten. Did you get ten? Did you do it? Catherine just catching up there, she. <laughs> Inhale. Two hands down. Breathe. Now, that's two done, but how's that ticker? How's your heart rate? Is it up there? Or are you still holding back from what you know you can do? Are you holding back? Are you going all in? That's the question. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Lift. Now we come down in two. One, two, push. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. One, two, cool. You got it. Stay with me. Can you bend your knees more? Can you keep your head and chest up though? Try not to bow forward. Stay upright as much as you can handle. One more, one more. Yeah. So the heart rate will maintain between 75 and 90% your maximum, depending on where you are in your fitness journey, all right? So you have a Fitbit or an Apple Watch later on, have a look at the stats, and have a look at what happens in the workout. Three, two, one, go. Control. Now, can you bring your arm to touch your ear, but without moving your head though? So what I don't want is your head to start tilting, guys, all right? Keep it really solid. Pull the elbows and shoulders back. One more here, ready? One more, go. Up. Nice. 30 seconds. Kettlebell. Now the key with the kettlebell is that you should not be feeling anything in your back whatsoever. If you do, then something's not right. Your posture, your framework, your mobility, whatever it is, or the technique. It's all in the ass. Hamstrings, abs, that's where it all is. Ready, three, two, one, go, hop. So the kettlebell comes to just above nipple line, all right? No higher than that, guys. So it shouldn't be up by your chin or up by your head. And it shouldn't be here, guys, I'd look. It's a bit lower that, isn't it? Come on, get it up. Touch the hips. Now watch though, we do not want to lean back. Just come up nice and vertical. Five, four, 
three, two, one, and done. Okay? Low abs. Now, as I said, you have two options. You can keep the knees bent, or you can go straight leg. But either which way, the knee stays over that hip when you come back. So when the legs come back, don't let the legs just drop, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Up. Now control, take your time, go back to the L shape and lift. Nice and steady, nice and steady. That's it, control. Do you feel your abs or do you just feel your neck? In which case, don't go too far. Control the lower. Now the hips just go over your head. You don't want to lift the hips up. You just rotate. Okay? Cool. On your feet. Burpees. Now what's going to happen is, you're going to start to drop reps now in these burpees as you get fatigued, which is okay. That's all right. We don't really want it to stay at 10 all the way, because if you do, that means you could have done more in set one. You might have got 11 or 12 in, yeah? Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Now dig in deep, guys. Hands to the floor, then you step or jump backwards, remember? Up. So hands to the floor, step or jump backwards. Then you bring your feet up, and then you go. 10 seconds, go all in. One more, ready? One more, go. Yes. Breathe. Did you count them? Maybe. Did you drop any reps? Probably. Inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in the mouth. Inch the nose. Exhale to the mouth. 30 seconds. Keep the legs moving if you can. Don't just sit. We want to keep the blood flow going a little bit. We don't want it to suddenly stop. Okay, here we go. Squats, round four. Are you ready? We're looking to get in 10 reps. Okay, feet wide, heels elevated. Grab your dumbbells. Four, three, two, one. Now go slowly and push. Now in this set, I want you to keep your knees bent at the top. Don't let them lock out, okay? Slow and steady. Shoulders are back. Knees stay bent though. Don't let them lock. That's it. Remember your feet want to be roughly hip distance apart if possible on this particular squat. Give me one more. One more, ready? Down and up. Nice. So on the squats, if you can, you want to have your heels in line with your hip bone with your hip bone, not my hip bone. Remember, everyone is different. So it's your hip bone. Where the heels are, your toes are turned out slightly, yeah? Shoulders, four, three, two, one, go. Take your time, control it. Elbows go wide, remember? So you shouldn't be able to see the dumbbells. If you can, that means that they are forward in front of your body, pull them back. So I can't see my dumbbells whatsoever here because I haven't pulled them right back. That's it, so my dumbbells are sitting on the outside head of my shoulder, not in front of my body. Well done, recovery. 30 seconds, kettlebell swings. Then you'll start to slow down slightly. You might drop one, maybe two reps, but that's it. 18, 17, 16, 15 seconds. Deep breath in and out. Exhale. Six, five, four. Ready? Three, two, 
one, go, hop, thrust, your hips, digging deep, I want you to smack those hips forward, keep that chest lifted, digging deep, stay in the game, six, five, four, three, two, one, done, nice, lower abs on your back, keep pressing the night, now the key with the abs is not to crush your neck, you just go onto the shoulders, your mobility will determine how far you can go, all right, so take your time, remember we do not want those legs to swing though, so line your back, arms at the floor, knees over the hips, so either bent or straight, push, go up, now control the lower, take your time, push your arms and your shoulders down, push your elbows down, don't let your hands or your elbows come off the floor, you feel more engagement now in your abs, control, dig in, and again, ready? Over you go. Then slowly. Nice. Never mind me. Inhale. Never Burpees. Mind me. Now what's the plan? Never How many are you gonna get now? You got ten in round one and two. You might have only got nine in round three. How many are we gonna aim for in round four? Possibly Never nine still, yeah? You ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, go, 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 up. Remember, hands to the floor, you jump or step backwards. So don't let your body just crash dive forward. Hands to the floor first, then you step or jump back, then you bring your feet in, and then you either jump or you don't. One more, one more. Yes. Did you drop reps or did you maintain reps? Inhale. Exhale. We've done four rounds. This is our last one, number five now. So I'm gonna ask you to dig deep and go all in every single rep and every single set. Go deep guys, the last opportunity. In four and a half minutes, it's all over, okay? Are we ready? Squats, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, hip. Feet hip distance apart. Turn your toes out. Ready? Go. And then knees bend to the top. We do not want those legs to lock out. We want to keep tension on the thighs. Squeeze the thighs. Digging deep. That's it. Nice. Shoulders back. All the way. All the way. All the way down. Ready? Control. Give me one more, one more. Yes, well done. We did it. Shoulders. Now your mission here is to maintain as good a form as you can. All right, so keep the head from going side to side. Pull the arms back as much as possible. Maintain a nice alignment in your body. What helps is when you have one leg in front of the other, this helps to stabilize your pelvis. Ready, four, three, two, one, lift, control. Uh, there you go, catch your markers now. You got your spotters, you got your little PTs there. <laughs> Nothing like a Saturday morning, guys, and you got the kids running around the place, isn't it? Love it. <laughs> Ready, dig in. 
more, one more, one more, up. Nice. Wow. Kettlebells. Can you go all in and get 20 reps? Yes, of course you can. If you wanted it, you would do it, guys. If you wanted to do the work, you would do it. If you really want that goal, if you really desire that mission statement that you've said to yourself, you put the work in there. Ready? Go. Hop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and twenty done. Yeah. Just on the buzzer. Just on the buzzer. Feels good, doesn't it? Yes, guys, it feels great. <laughs> Abs. Control it. So it's a reverse ab curl. We're trying to get the lower portion of the abdominals here, guys. So on your back on the floor, hands by your side, legs in the air. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Control it though. Control the lower. Remember, glue your palms, your elbows, and your shoulders to the floor. Head as well. Try not to let your head lift as the legs go back. Try not to swing though. Get control. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. One more. Yeah. Whoa. This is it. This is our final round together. Do you have what it takes to give me 10 burpees? Yes, you do. You know you do. Because you want that goal. You desire that result. If you desire it enough, you put the work in. You know this. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Hup. One, two, three. Come on, stay with me. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, one more. Yes. Did you do it? Hell yeah. Done. Done. Don't stop. Just walk or march wherever you are. Breathe. Quick cool down. Try and get up on your feet as soon as you can. Just march though. Just march. Or just tap. Whatever works for you. Just keep moving. Just want to bring the heart rate down. Just a little bit first. Before you're going to try to stretch. Hear my heart rate. Hear my breathing. That means I did the work. And most of you did as well. Or I did all of you. Can you look me in the eye now? Did you do the work? Did you? Cool. Cool then. All you need is yourself, a bit of space. Coming down to the floor. We start with a hamstring stretch whenever you're ready. Bend the knee if you need to. Straighten the leg if you can. Hands behind your thigh. And bring the heel up over the hips. Breathe. Swap legs. Now you're going to cross this ankle over the opposite knee, put your hand through the middle, grab the knee and get a nice deep glute stretch, pull the knee in towards you. Well done. Swap sides. Feels good now it's all over doesn't it? <laughs> yeah Greg, it feels great now we've stopped. <laughs> 
You've got to be crazy to do this, right? Yeah, we're all crazy. Absolutely. Okay, quads. So go on to your side. Grab your heel. Knees together. Push it in, in towards you and get a nice stretch in the quads. Now, to get more of a deep stretch, push your hips forward. Get a deep stretch in the front thigh. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to swap sides. And then from here, child's pose. So come onto your front, sit your bum back, hands out straight. And then we're going to swing one leg in front. Nice big long lunge, hip flexor stretch. Put your hands on your thighs, lean back, and then drop your hips down and push the knee forward. Keep leaning back. Let your breath just go, and you get a nice deep stretch there in the front of the hip there, okay? From here, we're going to go to the frog stretch. So you take your knees wide, keep them bent, turn your feet out, and then all you do is sit your bum back, get into that groin. Then we're going to swing the opposite leg forward in front. Nice big long lunge on the other side. Again, hands on your thigh, lean back. With the breath, let the knee go forward. Let the hips drop and add a slight more lean. From here, we transition to downward dog. So hands to the floor, go onto the knees. Then whenever you're ready, tuck your toes under, stick your bum in the air and let your head go. Then it should be like a V shape, an upside down V. Okay, now walk your hands in, feet together, forward bend. So you grab your toes if you can, bend the knees if you need to, but then you gently start to push those knees back into a nice lower body stretch. Then support your hands as you come up. We're gonna stretch out the back of the arms. Arms above the head, in between the shoulder blades, and then just have a slight lean. Nice stretch down the side of the spine. Same on the other side. And we're going to give ourselves a big roll in the shoulders. And we always finish. Big pat on the back for yourself. And a big round of applause. Good job.